I was pregnant with Kevin. Um, everything was going fine. Uh, he's the third of three kids, so I felt I had a pretty good gauge on what was happening. When I went into labor, I was having a pain on my side, and um, next thing I know, my uterus ruptured. Kevin uh, was unresponsive when they took him emergency C-section, resuscitated him once, and then uh, we lost him a second time. My name's Claudette Enners, and I am Kevin's mom. Because of the um, traumatic birth, um, we had been warned that there could be some developmental delays with Kevin. We knew that there were some, going to be some problems at the time. We didn't know what they were going to be. We didn't know if they were permanent, short term, or if they're going to be, uh, you know, uh, long term. Uh, typically, Rich and I are up by 5.30, 6 if we sleep in. And, you know, we, we start our routine before Kevin wakes up. Kevin's usually up about 6.30, 7 o'clock. Morning, Kev. Mm -hmm. Rise and shine. Rich gets his workout in, and then he starts work. Um, I go and get Kevin ready for the morning. breakfast. Um, Kevin will sit down and check his email and check his calendar. I try to hurry through whatever I can hurry through because with Kevin's movement sometimes it takes a bit longer. You never know. Then again, we floor. <sighs> so you said you wanted what for breakfast? Crunchy peanut butter. It's, it's his favorite. We are very quiet at breakfast. Okay, my man. I'm gonna go get my coffee. Just collecting our thoughts. After he eats, then we talk about work because um, everybody deserves to eat a meal in peace. The F O O. One. You have one goal <laughs> to get the food in the stomach. <laughs> That's your one goal. Do you need to tilt back? So um, after Kevin gets his desk set up in the morning, this is where he needs help. Somebody has to come in and turn on his computer and then get him to the right screen. And then what he does now is he calibrates. This bar here is an eye gaze. And so it reads um, the position of his eyes. And that's how he types. Uh. To use that eye gaze, he has to stare at a letter on a, on a screen for two to five seconds before that, that software recognizes that's the character that wants to be inputted into the system. Um, and he's doing that fighting a movement disorder that, that wants to move his body in directions that he does not want it to go. My name is Kevin Inners. I'm the communications project manager for the Kyle Peace Foundation. I was fortunate enough to have parents that have a can-do attitude because I just have to do this. I have to be involved in sports. My dad always used to run with me in a jogger and there came a point where I was like, Dad, I'm over this pushing chair. I want to run with you. 
should not be pushed by you. Roughly about four o'clock in the afternoon, Kevin's ready to um, get on with his training. Uh, and he's really consistent with it. It's anywhere from two to three days a week, plus the weekends. You know, that starts by changing his clothes into exercise equipment, putting his bike shorts on, putting on all the Vaseline on his feet and the socks and the wraps and the special shoe. The Cal Peace Foundation supports a lot of challenged athletes. The last uh, large race we did, we had 60 challenged athletes. The Cal Peace Foundation is also very, very lean. So dollars that are contributed into the foundation go directly to support these events. So my name is Kyle Peace. Kevin is a great guy. He does so much for the foundation. Um, He's a hard worker. So Kevin has a story. I have a story. But what we have in common is we all come together to race. I mean, at the core of what we do is inclusion. And so we're creating inclusive experiences for people with disabilities. And so the way that we're connecting with our donors and our volunteers and our athletes and capturing those words is from a brilliant young man who happens to type five words a minute with his eyes. These are the people that make up the foundation. This is what has helped us grow to where we are today. And so I want people to see all this stuff that it takes just to make it happen. Of all the things the Cal Peace Foundation is doing, the most visible is putting challenged athletes in chairs and pairing them up with uh, able-bodied athletes. But that's just part of it. It's the families, the community behind it that makes a big difference. What I see, because I'm not a runner, I'm usually on the sideline, but that's just it. I get to be on the sideline. I get to see. <laughs> Sorry. I get to see Kevin participate. Using the best of his abilities and having fun with a group of people who, who get it. Other parents on the sideline are watching their kids. <laughs> Sorry. Ear to ear grin. Mm. Coming through that finish line, across that finish line, and I can't even tell you the joy <laughs> that it brings. Yeah. And that's very cool. <laughs>